Hi, I'm Jess. I make videos to interact with others and hopefully make you laugh. Ready, set, go. Hi friends, tonight I'm gonna do my wedding video. I'm so excited. You guys have been submitting questions in the comments so I wanna make sure I get to those right away because I don't want this to be too long. I have all your questions here. We've been married now for three years and we got married August 7th, 2011, right? 11? Yes. We got married here in San Diego by San Diego Bay. It was really nice. It was an outdoor wedding. It was a perfect day. And it was relatively small. There was about 100 people there, including the people that were in the wedding. Uh, okay, so first I want to get to your questions. The Real Beal asked, what kind of cake did we have? Something kind of nice is that my family makes cakes. And they don't do it like formally. They don't have a store or anything. It's just something that they've always done. So it was a beautiful cake, three-tiered, and we chose white cake with a strawberry filling, and it's like actual chopped up strawberries in delicious homemade whipped cream, nom 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 nom. We didn't even get to save the top tier for our first anniversary, okay? There was no cake to bring home. Gone. Our end slate making friend Jenna asked me, how long did you prepare? Well, almost one year to the day. So we got engaged August 6th, right, 2010, and got married August 7th, 2011. So almost immediately after we got engaged, I started the wedding planning process. I basically went to like Google and the nut.com and they really helped me figure out what I should be doing and what timeline I should be doing them on. If it wasn't for those things, I don't really know what we would have done eloped. Phantom Lover 1717 asked, what was your honeymoon like and was it different from a normal vacation? For our honeymoon, we went to Maui and it was gorgeous. We were there for 10 days staying at this beautiful hotel on the water. I loved every single second of it. Husband. Yes. Do you have any feedback about the honeymoon? Well, I think what was awesome about the honeymoon is that all the stress, all the pressure, everything going up to a wedding, then once you're on the honeymoon, you realize, wow, you have no stress whatsoever and you just finally get to enjoy being a married couple. Yeah, that's a really good point. I think what makes it different than a normal vacation is there's such a drum roll leading up to it, you know? All this planning, all this hopefully not stress, but stress. <laughs> and then you have your wedding and it's magical. And then you go as a married couple off on a vacation. My lovely friend, Nee Court, asked, do you still have your wedding dress? Did you have it professionally cleaned after? I do still have my wedding dress. I never cleaned it though. As a matter of fact, I have a picture of what I was doing with my dress the day after the wedding. This is us waiting for someone to pick us up. It's in exactly the same condition. Uh, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. I never really thought about cleaning it. I assumed I'd never wear it again. I was hoping to get married once. She also asked, what are the top three most important lessons I've learned about marriage? Ooh, just three? I learned that marriage is awesome. Uh, it's kind of fun to have like a, a permanent partner in crime, or not crime, partner in peace and prosperity. I learned that being stubborn is not worth it. So sometimes if we don't agree on something, it's not worth standing your ground about. I mean, sometimes it is, but typically not. Like, just compromise, get it over with. And the third most important thing. Mm, honor thy husband. Honor thy husband. Oh, sorry. Did you not hear my sec number two was compromise? Sure. Honoring your significant other was is very important and you can honor them in a lot of different ways right like being nice to them doing nice things for them making up songs about them and singing them to them all the time can i sing my song for you which one i sing this song to him uh it's to the song hey ya by outcast and he hates it i do not hate you kind of hate it i do not you hate kind it. of hate it don't i don't hate it quit being stubborn <laughs> and it goes like this my husband, I love him so much, and he loves me so much, and we're so in love. Did I miss anything? Anything really important that we've learned about marriage? No, I knew it all beforehand. Oh, did um, you? Were you married beforehand? Not tell me? No, I just came in really prepared. Okay. Okay. 
Be My Forever asked, how stressed were you while planning and how did you manage to cope with organizing everything? Well, the planning process was very stressful. Eh, it was and it wasn't. It was. It was. The best answer I can give about this is, uh, okay. Planning a big event is stressful in itself because there's so many moving pieces, right? So it's more than just the day of preparation. It's making sure that everything is aligned up until that day. So it's important to have like an idea of what you want uh, because that makes the process so much easier. It would be like going to a car lot and saying, I want a car, but having no, like, no other specifications. Do you want a four door, a two door, a truck, a car? Like there's a lot of different choices, but if you have kind of an idea of what you want, planning out your wedding, so much easier. I can say that because I went in there with no ideas and it took a long time to figure out what I needed. Uh, this is before I started using Pinterest. Pinterest would have changed my life. I'll tell you too, sometimes when you get married, if you come from a big family or have a lot of friends, there's just a lot of input that people give you about your wedding. Um, I'll say that they do it out of love because they love you and they're just trying to be helpful, but sometimes too much input is overwhelming. What I'll say is, and this is, uh, to be honest and genuine about it, it's also overwhelming when the ideas people have about what you should do or what they expect you to do when it's different than what you want to do or what's right for you. In some way, I'm sure everybody will experience stress around such a, a life-changing event and moment in their life. But if you keep in mind what you're doing it for and you have people, at least like your closest friends or your closest maybe relatives that are rooting for you, are excited for you and are supporting the things that are the most important to you with this event, it really alleviates a lot of stress. 100 days slash the couple I'm currently obsessed with because they're getting married soon and I'm excited, they asked, how do you deal with stress on the day of the wedding? Girl, I totally get your question. I did something I wasn't expecting. I hired a day of coordinator. So it was someone that was there only on the day of the wedding to make sure that everything had its place and things were gonna happen when they were supposed to happen. Now, do I think you have to hire somebody? No. If you have someone in your life that is super organized, good with attention to detail, you can designate them to be your coordinator. That's the best way to deal with the day of stressors because let me tell you once the music gets started girl there's nothing you can do okay the wedding's just gonna happen the way it's gonna happen <laughs> do you have any input about that question how to deal with the day of stress you know because you had to wake up super early and get your hair done and your makeup done and make sure your dress was fitted and all your bridesmaids oh no 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 that was me as far as advice I have a couple practical things okay one Right after the ceremony, typically you're taking pictures. Have somebody bring you food. Have somebody bring you an appetizer. Because let me tell you, I was starving by the time that the ceremony was over and my dear sweet friend Caitlin went and grabbed me some appetizers. Lifted my spirits. Secondly, I recommend telling your photographers um, maybe three specific things that are really important for you to capture on camera. That's not my idea. Actually, our photographer recommended it and he's, I just would have been like, do your thing. But there really were some things that were important to me and he was able to capture those. Three, don't spend money on all the small details. Ain't nobody but you gonna remember, okay? We tend to spend a lot of time really focused in on small, tiny itty bitty details that really only you are going to appreciate. Save your money, people. Four, you better bring some flats because those heels are cute for the first two, three hours and then you're over it, okay? I just wanted to slip into my flats and get my Dougie on, which I did. That's my advice. Do you have any advice for people that may be getting married? Just do what you want to do. Like I said, people are always going to chime in, but in the end, I really have a good speech.
<laughs> we, we can just cut that one out. No. Yeah. No, ma'am. <laughs> no, you had a good point. Your point was just do you. What was it? I didn't say do. Do what you want. Do what you want. What you want with your wedding. Do what you want. What you want. Lady Gaga would approve. That's Lady Gaga's song. Mm. It's true, though. It, that's great. That is great advice. Just do what is important to you. Be mindful. Be courteous. Thank the people that give you input and say, hey, I really appreciate your advice. It means a lot that you came to tell me that. I will consider it. And then just kick that out the window. Just kidding, don't kick that out the window. All right, friends, this is where I'm gonna do a little montage of photos, so enjoy. much for submitting your questions and showing so much interest in this story. If you're new to the channel, spoiler alert, I'm married. Make sure to subscribe. I have videos Monday through Friday. You can follow me throughout the week on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Hey friends, thanks so much for your questions. I had so much fun answering them. Also, after I was done editing, I saw one last question from Jake0007. He asked if anyone caught the garter belt. And they did, and I hear that guy's getting married now. Good for him. All right, friends, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.